right, so here we go. Anthony Showtime Pettis versus Nate Diaz. And there is nothing fictitious about the friction between these two men. This is legitimate bad blood. The son of the school. Yeah, what's beef? What's beef? Beef is Anthony Pettis versus Nate Diaz. These men do not like each other. And locking them inside of an octagon is doing them the biggest of favors by letting them punch and kick each other in the face and in the head. It's going to be phenomenal. I can't wait for this one. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Oh, you got to love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was going to take it to this guy that is exactly... It looked like it did start a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Combinations here. Oh! So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pets. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight. doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, what a fantastic strike. Oh. these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Diaz gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Strong knee attempt, but it's blocked. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be... Oh! Because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Good right hand. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. Oh! Maybe the best strike he's thrown tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. All right, let's get to the replays from that previous round, and you got to think they plucked that flying knee, huh? Oh, it was beautiful. It was great to see someone be this free in the octagon. See an opening, take anything that shows itself. That flying knee was perfectly timed and landed beautifully. reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, it's it's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was over him versus his Ganu. And you know, he's still having a out over his head. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. How good is that jab from Nate Diaz? Almost as if he's been doing it for 20 years, right? I mean, he has been doing it. You know, he's got a great boxing coach in Richard. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And now he lands a combination. Oh, he might be out. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So the unofficial numbers tell you 77 total strikes. Looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh! Back 
to the feet. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Visibly limping here. 